Well, Nigel and Carol here inside the cemetery. We're on the west side, but you can see though some of these flags marking off those areas for those potential grave sites. The university historian telling us today that there could be even more of them all while the university is working to learn more. This section of flags now shows what hadn't been identified for more than a century, 215 unmarked graves in Woodland Cemetery. The only certainty that, that can be speculated about that is most of them are likely to be former slaves. Slaves for the Calhoun family, buried five feet below the ground according to radar technology, six months after a group of students approached Dr. Rhonda Thomas about maintenance in the south side of the cemetery. They came to me um, very distraught, very upset, uh, and asked what, what could be done. She put them in touch with university historian Dr. Paul Anderson. He noticed field stones for grave sites there expanding beyond what was known as the traditional burial site. It certainly was, was not big enough to be what we were seeing by the, by the physical evidence of the field stones. That got us uh, curious. This 1960 court order obtained a few weeks ago by the university shows officials at the time moved some grave sites here to the south side from the cemetery's western side. A search of that area using radar revealed a majority of the sites. We know that people want answers now that um, the discovery is known. Uh, and we want to assure the public and our African American, the local African American community, um, that the work continues and that we will continue working on this as long as it takes to get the answers that we need. As you heard Dr. Thomas men mention there, the university is in touch with leaders of the local African American community here, figuring out the best way to honor the people who were buried here. For now, in Clemson, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.